Can I help you? Outtakes. <laughs> That's right, we have outtakes. Cat, be quiet. Lots of outtakes. Cat! And now we have cats, so this is guaranteed to go viral. We are at 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> this video is our way of saying thank you. We love all the comments, thank you. We read them all. To answer your questions, yes, we are making more videos for your enjoyment. So without further ado, enjoy. <laughs> Hold it together. <laughs> How about we settle on about 120? <laughs> I take direction very well. Well, then that can't be the problem then. Is this the new one or the old one? <laughs> you laugh. Harness is down here. Hey, is that a client? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Go away. Let me work. You blow it. Give me that. Stop. <laughs> It, like I didn't have it. That was gonna be the bit like you didn't see it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> got some of this 22 on eBay. Real cheap. Dang, Craigslist. You can't buy Freon on eBay. Oh, yeah? Let's check it out. <laughs> Does the filter use Freon? I think it just needs a little Freon. <laughs> I think it just needs a little Freon. Needs a little Freon. <laughs> Is that the Freon? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it needs Freon. <laughs> what well, <it> needs Freon? <laughs> One more time. <sighs> what are you getting that for? I've got this, my. This is 22. Oh, there's a car coming. I got this on Craigslist. <laughs> 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 No, this is 22. I got it from a fella on Craigslist. Jeep. Fine. We'll use your 22. All right. Fine. Oh, shit. So where does the Freon go? Bend over and I'll show you. My neighbor's like, like, that's running away. All right. I'm gonna touch ears, by the way. I'm gonna get that close. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> right, but that's I need to maintain a serious face, right? Yeah. Okay. What's that, why four men? Really, dude? Need some light? <laughs> Need some light? <laughs> what the? This one? <laughs> this one? <laughs> this one? <laughs> Whoa! Uh... I'm gonna need to go to my van and get a drill. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need to go to my van and get a drill. <laughs> it's gonna be worse that y'all can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> I like what's that wire, man. <laughs> Are you done yet? Missed it by that much. <laughs> Higher. One more time. <laughs> you slid out of flame that time. <laughs> no matter how intelligent we think we are, we all make a mistake that just makes us slap our forehead every now and then. Here's mine. Okay, so you guys remember the vacuum experiment, right? I have an S8. I've used it underwater. It's got waterproof properties to it. I should have researched those properties a little further, but I did not. As you can see, I willingly place my phone in the pickle jar and I turn on the vacuum. I notice bubbles coming from where bubbles should not have been coming from. At that point, I realized what was happening, but it was too late. No, save my baby! But I had an interesting phone call to Verizon. Turns out, I'm the only one. No one else in the history of Verizon has willingly placed their phone in a vacuum chamber in water and turned it on to kill their phone. <laughs> now I attempted to use the vacuum chamber to get all the water out of the phone. It did not work in this case. It could probably work under most cases where people's phone get wet under normal circumstances and then they can just dry back out. But when the power's on and it's recording while it's drowning, no. I mean, if a guy finds himself in the vacuum of space and he's got to go underwater and he has to use his phone, this model just isn't going to work for him. I'm glad I found this design flaw before something serious happened. I've got a feeling they're going to have to add to the warning label because of this. If you liked today's video, click subscribe below, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time.